Time for another Q&A day here. Doing Q&A days randomly here, usually on the weekends. I uh, had a question about harmonica players, Little Walter and Big Walter. Who do I like better? Who do I think is more important? That type of thing. They're both great for different reasons. There's a lot of great blues harmonica players in history. Those two were maybe the most popular and the most influential, aside from maybe Sonny Boy 1 and Sonny Boy 2, James Cotton. But Little Walter definitely, I would say, was the most famous, the most influential. Big Walter, very influential as well. They're very different styles, very different types of players. Uh, I found I learned a lot from both of them. I've studied uh, just about everything that both players have recorded and uh, even some bootlegs and stuff that I've heard and got my hands on. Um, a wealth of knowledge, st really studying and listening to the attacks, the approaches, the nuances of their techniques, but they're both very different. Little Walter really, I feel, is, was the most musically creative. Um, perhaps the most musically versatile of the blues harmonica players in history, you know, especially from that era. Um, Big Walter, very inventive, very strong rhythmically, uh, but he can improvise and, and, and play a lick and a riff and swing ahead of, and behind the beat as good as anybody. Um, seem to go seem to take less chances, at least on record, um, but they both really have a, a, a big volume of recorded work in history, and uh, they're both worth many, many hours of study. One of the things that I got most out of Big Walter is his very staccato percussive rhythmic attack. One of, you know, he, I think, is the go-to player for that kind of stuff. You know, when you look at traditional blues harmonica playing, it all stems from Sonny Boy 1, and Sonny Boy 2 kind of carried that on. But Big Walter was there too, close to the beginning of all this. And he had a very sharp, staccato, percussive rhythmic, rhythmic attack when he was doing that thumb block shuffle. You know, when you do Big Walter's Boogie, for example, very staccato, sharp attack. Now, that's one of the things he's known for, playing shuffles and really having that sharp, staccato, rhythmic, punchy attack. Okay, Little Walter definitely did less of that, in uh, at least on, in his recorded work, or his most famous recorded work. It was a lot more, a lot more loose, a lot more swinging as a soloist than as like a single note soloist player, lick and, and fill and solo player. Um, really swung a lot. One of the things I got from Little Walter was his inventiveness, his phrasing, and how he swung more than most or pretty much any blues harmonica player before him. And a lot of the guys that swing the most after him studied him, you know? <laughs> just bounce and play around with the timing and and tease you with playing a little behind the beat and then landing on the beat. To me, these are the biggest things I learned from the players, the way Little Walter swung. I mean, he had amazing technique, obviously, amazing musical ideas. The biggest thing I got from him, although I got a lot of things from him, were, or how he swung with his phrasing and Big Walter, how rock solid and percussive he was and how sharp his attack was when he was playing rhythmically. 
there's so many things to talk about Big Walter and Little Walter. Uh, I'm going to talk much more about this in future Q&As and in other lessons on my website. But I just wanted to uh, touch upon it today on Q&A Day. I'll see you next time. Thanks for tuning in.